Hi, welcome to this tutorial today for Unreal Engine 5. This will also work with Unreal Engine 4. What I'm going to be showing you today is how to make a 3D animated menu. So I went ahead and I made some actors. So I made some models, which is just the block out, the block out mesh uh, of the rock formation. Okay, and then I made a rock prop, which is just a rock I can resize and use. It's a block out rock. And then I made a water plane, and this is just a water that I can use with an animated material. And I'll show you how to do all that in just a minute. Okay, so with that said, what we need to do is we need to create a new map. We're going to go here, and we're going to go to File, New Level, up top. We're going to do Time of Day, and we're going to call this... I'm going to call this, uh, save this, and we're going to call this 3D Menu 2. 3D Menu 2. Uh, because I already have a 3D Menu 1. Menu 2, okay. So now that we have that, we're going to go in here. We're going to save this. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull this out, this uh, standard cube they gave us. We're going to delete this stuff. Oops. Bring this back. Bring it back. Yeah, we can. Okay. So I undid that. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to just make this a scene um, for the most part. And then there's a couple other things we need to do. So I'm going to go ahead and place these in here. So I got my models here. So I got my rock formation. Okay. It's right there. Let me bring this down a little bit. And then I got my water plane. Okay. That's good. Let's bring this down here. We're going to put some rock props in here. We're going to bring these around. We're going to put some to the side. It's basically how I set up the other one. Okay, we're going to rotate some of these. We're going to bring this up so it looks like rock. Okay, there we go. Alright, and then what we need to do is we need to go to the back. And we need to do the same thing. Because uh, you don't want you don't want them to be able to see behind the the waterfall because um, that is out of bounds. So we don't want them to see that. Okay, so now that we have a good, let's check it out. So yeah, so we have a good. Let's go ahead and bring uh, this down and over. There we go. So now it looks like the rock. Okay. So we have that. And now what we need to do is add an actual waterfall to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a cube. Uh, shapes, add cube. Okay. And I'm just going to scale this up. Bring this over. Scale it up to the top. Okay. And then I'm going to add my water material, which I'm going to show you what it is real quick here. Uh, water mat one. Okay. So what this material is is it's essentially a waterfall texture that I got off Google. And then I put it in here with a panner node. Um, so the panner, you just type in panner, okay, and you get that. And then I put in a texture coordinate to tile it at 5.0, 5.0, and U and B. And then I put the speed to negative Y so it goes down. And I made the opacity 0.4. If you don't have the opacity, make sure you click on the waterfall mat, and then you go to translucent because it'll Typically, it'd be on opaque, and that's what it'll look like. You want to put it on translucent. Okay, so now we have our water material, and we have our rocks. So now what we need to do to get that sunset is, this is why we use the time of day, is we need to control L, control L, and then we need to move the mouse until we have a setting that we want. So I think... I think that looks pretty good. I think that looks pretty good. Let's see here. I think I think that looks good. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, remember that's control and L. And you need the um in order to get that, you need to use the time of day one. So control and L. Okay, so now that we have a rock, what we need to do is we need to set up a camera. If we go down to the plus up here, and we type in camera, uh, wait, hold on, camera, camera actor, okay, so we're going to put that in there, 
you're going to turn this around. And there's one more thing we have to do, which is set up the actual menu. Um, okay, so we're going to put that there. Let's say there. And there's one more thing I need to do. I need to make this cube bigger. There we go. So now it'll go down the water. Okay. And then we need to make the, we need to set this to auto activate. So auto activate. Uh, where is it? Auto activate. I have to look for it. Auto activate. I think I saw it there. Yeah. So you want to make sure it says auto activate and then on auto activate for player, do player zero. Okay. And now that we have that, all we need to do is set up the widget. So I went ahead and made a standard main menu widget, it's just the text with some invisible with some opacity buttons. Okay. So now that we do, do that, what we need to do is set it up in the level blueprint. So we're going to go up here and do open level blueprint. And on here, we're going to create widget. Okay. We're going to create widget, get player controller. Okay. Plug that into owning player. We're going to set show mouse cursor. Okay. And then off the return value of the widget construct, we're going to do add to the import. Okay, and remember this is all on begin play. This is on begin play. Okay, and then we're going to set the W main menu that we created for the widget class. And the final little touch that I like to do is add sound to it. So we're just going to put this over to the side. And one more thing is we don't want it to, con to constrain the aspect ratio. So as you can see, it will now show the whole thing. So we are actually going to move it down a little bit might be better there we go so now whenever we play whenever we play you can actually see it it should pop up here and you can see the waterfall being animated the rocks are there you can hear the music you have your buttons here you're not setting up anything but this is your 3d animated main menu it's not too complex uh, it's basically just setting up the scene that's how you do it if you like this hit the like button and subscribe